everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to make this fish that hangs on the wall. We're going to make him, slip him, and carve him all in one day. Okay, so I just showed you the fish on the wall. So this is what he looks like. And then here is the little keyhole on the back, which he's going to hang on the wall. Okay, so let's get started. So we're just going to put the fishy aside. And so to start with, we're going to roll out a little bit of clay. And you can decide how big or how small you want your, your fish to be. I'm going to take this off the banding wheel for a second and just roll out a nice slab. And as you're rolling out your slab, you just want to think about what kind of shape you want your fish to be. You can Google some fish images um, just to see what the shapes look like. We went traveling in Cozumel for our honeymoon and I got to see these beautiful tropical fish. And so I always think back to those fish when I'm making these little sculptures. And I'm looking at about a fourth of an inch for my slab. right back on the banding wheel here and I'm just gonna start thinking about my my fish you want to pull your slab up so it's not stuck to your board and then I'm just gonna cut this little guy out and each 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 fish that I make I like to give it its own individual shape so I try not to do the same shape over and over again. And so we're just gonna pull that apart and you're gonna use that clay to so just stick it back on top of your, your other clay that's um, hopefully with some plastic on top of it. Okay, so from here, <clears throat> we're just gonna score this little area around the edge and the whole tail and you can see as I'm scoring this clay, it's really wet. So I don't really need to add slip or a little or water, but I'm I have some right here just in case. And I may just run this over just a little tiny bit of water. But as I said, it's pretty wet clay. So to start with, I'm gonna roll out a snake. And we're just gonna follow the edge of this fish. And I'm just gonna push this clay down into the slab and then when I get to the tail I'm just gonna leave the snake pretty whole and I'm just gonna push that down and that's gonna be my tail right there and so I'm gonna do a little bit of another snake to put on top of that tail like that and just press it down and then we'll finish up with a snake on the bottom here, like that. So now we've gone all the way around the edge with our little first coil, okay? And so I'm gonna take my tool, my little dental spatula, and I'm just gonna start to join this slab, uh, this coil to the slab. And it can be quite messy because nobody's gonna see this. So I don't worry about keeping it too clean here. You can also use your finger if that feels better to you. Sometimes using your finger is a little bit faster. Okay, and then I'm just gonna run my finger around the edge making sure it's nice and attached here. Okay, and then for a little bit of a support system, I'm just gonna roll another little snake and I'm gonna press this into that coil where the coil joined the slab, okay, all the way around. This is just extra support here. And again, it can look super messy because nobody's ever gonna see it. And I'm just gonna run my finger all the way around, joining the co this new coil to the previous coil. And that's just gonna be an extra security for this wall to come up. Okay, and then I'm gonna just start building uh, coil by coil all the way 
And so we have about maybe an inch, maybe a half of an inch. We'll see when we get there. So just start placing our coil down and we're just gonna press it into the previous coil. Now when you get to the tail, you're just gonna go right over that tail like that and then go all the way around, press in all the way around till you get back to the start, like that, okay? And so then I'm gonna take my spatula and I'm just gonna start to bring this clay up like that. So we're just gonna, and using your fingers inside as support, we're just gonna start bringing that clay up. And can you do it again? All the way around. You're just bringing that clay up until you get it all attached, okay? And then when you get to the tail, you're just gonna press that tail. Now, here's the thing about the tail. If you feel like that's not a big enough tail for you, you can actually just take a little bit of a snake and go up a little bit further like that and just press that in. This clay is so wet that it's just gonna attach itself to each other. I kinda like a nice chunky tail. They, um, most fish have just beautiful tails, so I like to have a, a good hearty tail on there like that. And then you can just start pulling pulling the clay together with your spatula like that. And on the outside too. So we're just gonna pull that in like that. We're just pulling this in. And it, it looks very messy right now, but we're gonna make it nice and clean. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna start cleaning the outside by pulling my tool along the side of the fish like that. And all the way around like this, okay? And now we're just gonna keep building up. Um, this fish is small enough that you don't need a support system inside. A lot of times if I get bigger than this, like say, you know, if I was gonna do a fish like this big, I would put a support system right in the middle. Um, and But this fish is small enough that I don't feel like we need that. So I'm just gonna keep building right up. And as I'm building now, I'm starting to curve around. See that? I'm going in with the coil on the inside so that I can go a little bit rounded here as a fish would be, like that. And then I'm just gonna keep doing that. I'm just gonna keep going around and coming in. So I'm putting the coil inside the piece to go in. And we're gonna go fast now. We're just gonna keep building in until we get to the middle, and then I'll show you how to close this form. Now, as you're going up, you do wanna take a, a minute to stop every now and then and just clean this up. We're gonna join, we're gonna just join these coils together like this. And you can push down, you can pull up, however that feels good to you. We're just joining these coils all the way around, and again, this is gonna look messy for right now because we're working so fast. Um, but in the end, we're gonna make it look beautiful and we're gonna carve it as well. Okay, so when you get to the tail here, you're just gonna pull that clay down on top of the tail, attaching the pieces together like that. And don't, again, just don't worry about how messy it looks. We're building fast and furious. We can clean up later. Okay, so I'm gonna keep going in here. So I'm pushing the coil in to go in, like that, two, like that. And I'm gonna keep going in all the way around. It's great if you have one of these banding wheels because it makes building so much faster. If you have to keep turning your piece, um, it slows things down. So grab a banding wheel when you get to Art Alliance and use that to help you build quickly. 
Don't fuss. This is supposed to be fun. If you build fast enough, you can build a whole school of fish in a couple hours. Okay, there he is. And I'm going to clean up a little bit here. There. He's a little clean. I'm going to go ahead and measure him so I can tell you kind of how tall he is. So right now, he is about two and a half inches at the height right here. This side right here is about an inch and a half. Just so you know. Okay, so now that we're here and we're in, we're, we're kind of, we've, we're starting to close. <clears throat> I'm gonna start going across. So you're gonna take your coil and I can try to do that right there so you can see it. I'm gonna go across here like that and across like that and across. And then I'm just gonna pinch this together like this. And then I'm gonna take my spatula and I'm reaching in here with my fingers like that. And I'm just gonna pull all this clay together like this. Okay, and we're gonna continue that. So we're gonna go across, pinching across, joining the coil like that. And we're just gonna keep going across. Okay, and then every, it looks like about every three coils, I stop and get this together, like this, right there. And again, like I said, this is really wet clay, so it's so easy to manipulate. It just wants to do whatever you ask it to, which is very nice. This little tail's gotten a little bit out of wax, so I'm going to shape that just a little bit there. Okay, now... We're getting to the the, um, the sticky part. So I know everybody's like, oh, how's she gonna close that when it's so wet? Well, it's pretty easy. Um, now I'm gonna start going across this direction. So I'm just gonna push here and here and here like that. So I've got three coils across. And again, you're gonna stick your little fingers in there and you're just gonna blend like that. And now we've got a smaller hole, so I'm going to go across from here to here, going in towards the small end. So we're going to go across again, and across, and one more across. Okay, so now you can see how my finger is barely in there. This is a very small hole. So I'm going to stick my finger in there and just join these pieces together. And if your lip, if the rim falls down, you just pull it back out, okay? Don't be afraid. This is just clay. And so it's always fixable. And it should be fun. Okay, so now I'm going to start cleaning with this hole here. I'm starting to push the clay towards the hole. And notice as I do that, the hole gets smaller and smaller, right? Because we're pushing the clay towards it. Okay, and I'm just going to clean all the way around. I'm going to take time to look at my tail now and see how it's doing. It's a little messy, so I'm going to start cleaning that up a little bit. Okay, like this. Okay, so now he's pretty much done. I'm going to try to get him off the bat. Let's see, come on. He doesn't want to come off. There he goes. Okay, so I'm just going to lift him up just so he's not stuck on the bat. You can kind of twist him around a little bit if you want him to be in a, a little bit of a drier spot. Or you can turn your bat over. I would I would generally turn my bat over, but it's not blue on this side, so I'm not going to turn him over. It, over. But um, I don't like him to stick because I want to be able to move him around and manipulate him. So um, if you are working and you have a bat, just turn it over and use the other side. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna approach the sticky part, right? So I'm gonna roll out a little ball here, and I'm just gonna pinch this clay, and I'm gonna make the edge thinner than the middle, and then I'm gonna put a little bit of water on there, just a little bit, and then you're gonna put that right over the hole, right? And you're just gonna tap it down, and you're gently doing this because this is really wet clay so we're just going to gently tap it down 
and then you're gonna take your little spatula or you can use a um, any kind of wooden rib that you have like this guy let's see you said like this guy would be okay um, but I like the spatula so I'm just gonna start joining this clay just like this and that's it and now we've covered our hole right and he's our fish awesome huh Okay, so due to the magic of videos, I have a fish that I cleaned up and he has dried out a little bit so you can see I can't press in on him, but he's still tacky. You can see a shine on him and I can move the clay around. Okay, and I've cleaned up his little tail so it's not all nice and neat and ready to go. So he needs an eye and a fin, well two fins, an eye, and then we're going to cut the hole in the back. So, you just need to decide where you want your eye to be. And this is his little mouth here, and we're going to work on that too. So, I'm going to put his eye about here. And again, just Google image fish so you can see um, a good example of, of a fish and where their eyes should be. You can put it anywhere, though. He can be your own imaginary fish. Okay, and then I'm just going to flatten out a pancake like this little pancake here. And then we're just going to stick that in like that and tap it down. Okay, there's his little eye. So we're just going to start to blend the eye into the body. Like this. And then I just kind of go around with my finger and soften that edge. Like this. And then you're just going to take your needle tool and I'm just going to poke right down in there. And there's his little eye. Okay, so I always like to put a little bit of a snake around the eye to make it stick out just a little bit more. We're just gonna put this little guy all the way around and join. There we are. And then again, you're just gonna start to pull that clay down onto the body all the way around. And then I'm gonna run my finger around to soften that edge a little bit. Okay. There, now. Okay, now he's got his cute little eye there. Um, let's talk about his mouth. So the parrotfish actually has um, a beak type face. Um, and so I'm kind of going to emulate that just a little bit, but I'm actually going to put some lips on my fish. So again, you can just go ahead and take your needle tool and we're going to score this area like this. And I kind of think about goldfish as well. Um, I like their, they always make that cute little O with their mouth. So I'm probably going to work with that a little bit too. So I just added a little water and I'm just gonna roll out a snake and just put this down like this, like that. There's one and second one. So there's his little lips like that. Okay, and so I'm just gonna start spreading that clay onto the body like that. And you can use your finger here to do the side like that. And then this one Okay, and then I'm going to clean it up a little bit with my spatula. I'm just pulling the clay onto itself. Like this. Okay, and then I'm going to clean up this a little bit, make these join here. And then I'm actually going to cut, I'm going to take my, mm, it's about too big. I'm going to take my hole cutter and I'm going to cut a hole like that. And then I'm just going to bring this in. So it looks like he's got a little bit of an O to his mouth. I'm going to push that in like that. And you can actually kind of just then just kind of work on the lips and make them look how you like. And that's pretty good right now. I'll probably fuss with these a little bit later. Okay, so now we've got that done. We're gonna do, we're gonna put a fin on. 
And I'm just going to stick his little fin right here. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of water there. And then I'm just going to roll out his fin. So I'm just going to roll a little ball like that. And then I'm going to squish it like that to a little cylinder. And then I'm going to start to pinch this out into a fin. Like that. Okay, there's his fin. And I'm going to flatten this down. And I'm going to take a look. And that fin looks a little big for me for this fish. So I'm going to cut this off and then I'm going to try again. And that looks okay. Maybe still a little bit big. Cut a little bit more off. And then let's try. That's better. Okay, I like that for him. So I'm just going to press this down like this and just join it all the way across. And then I'm going to lift this fin up like that and I'm going to get underneath with my tool. So I'm going to start squishing the clay down underneath this fin like that. There we are, there's his fin. And it's nice and attached, okay? Now, a lot of fish have a fin on the top. Well, <laughs> right here. So this is where another fin could be. And I'm gonna put one on there. So I'm gonna score right there. Do you see that? And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of water, like that. And we're just gonna make a fin. So. I'm going to roll out a, a coil. And then we're just going to kind of see about placement. And that looks long enough. So I'm just going to pinch out one end of it to make it nice and thin and to stand up. But as you pinch, your coil is going to get longer. So we may need to cut off part of this, this piece. So we're just going to stick this on and see. Now see, it's probably a little bit too long. Okay, so we're just going to cut some off like that. And then you can pick your fish up and kind of see what you think about the fin. Looks a little tall to me, but I can cut that off once I attach it. So I'm going to go ahead and join this. So I'm just pinching this piece onto the scored area like that. Okay. Like that, all the way across. Then I'm gonna take my little tool here and I'm just gonna bring that clay right on top of the fish. And so, if you look at his fin, it just looks a little tall to me. So I'm just gonna take my needle tool and put him back down. And we're just gonna do a little cut all the way across. And because this edge now is rough, we're just gonna pinch that back together, making a nice, neat edge here for your fin. And the last thing we need to do is cut a keyhole in the back. So to cut the keyhole, we're gonna just start to feel our fish. So put your fish in both hands and just hold it see where the weight is. The weight is more tipped towards the front here because he's got the extra weight of the eye, the lips, and then a little bit of this fin is giving him a little bit of extra weight on the on this front end of the fish and less weight here. So for our fish to hang straight on the wall, we're gonna have to kind of assess where we wanna put this so that we can um, have it not tilt forward. So I'm thinking like maybe right here is where the weight would be balanced. So if my clay is still pretty wet, um, and so normally I would just wait to cut this. So if you're feeling like this clay is wet back here, you can just wait until it's nice and leather hard and then you can cut it. But since we're doing this all together today, I'm gonna go ahead and cut right here a nice little keyhole. Okay. 
gonna pull that out. And then I'm just gonna clean this edge up because you don't want any kind of sharp edge to cut your finger when you're hanging your fish. So I'm just gonna clean that up. And I'll take time to clean that up later um, when um, it dries just a little bit more because it is pretty wet here. So that's where the screw's gonna go in and hook right here on the top of the fish. There we go. And so he's all nice and finished. Okay, so now our fish is set up and is nice and hard. We're going to slip him. Just still cleaning up a little bit. And what I'm gonna do is, um, in the fish that I showed you before, I did um, a fade or an ombre. So it went from yellow to orange to red at the back. Um, and I'm gonna show you how to do that again um, on this fish. So we're gonna start with the yellow slip right here. And we're just gonna stir and make sure it's nice and loose. And then we're gonna pile up our brush with a lot of slip. And we're just gonna start to just lay that slip onto the fish. Now his lips are gonna be red, but it's okay to get the yellow slip on there for right now. And I'm gonna make sure I get the little snake around his eye. I'm gonna make sure I go behind the fin and up the fin and notice how wet this is. I mean, it's just sloppy, sloppy on there. Excuse me. Okay, so then we're gonna take our orange and we're just gonna start to put that on too. Okay, we're gonna blend that into the yellow. See how I'm doing that? That's gonna pull the yellow and orange together. Like that. Make sure you get up underneath the fin too. And then I'm gonna turn this little guy around and I'm going to put the red slip on the back. Making sure I go behind the fin, get all sides of the tail. Okay, now I'm gonna take this red and I'm gonna go back into the orange, blending the two colors together so that it becomes a fade. So I'm gonna start at the top and I'm gonna do all of that one more time. So here we are with the yellow. Nice, thick, oops, nice, thick layer of slip. Okay, and I'm gonna go over into the orange. Then I'm gonna take the orange and I'm gonna go back over into the yellow and blend that in like that. And then I'm gonna come back to the red. Okay, making sure to go behind the fin. And I'm gonna go over the red with the orange. And then I'm gonna take the red and I'm gonna go back into the orange and blend those two colors together. So you should get a nice fade in the end. Okay, so we're gonna set him aside and let him dry. Okay, so now our fish is slipped and the slip is dry. And so we're gonna carp him really quick, color his eye blue, color his lips red, and we'll be done. So I'm just gonna put him down and what I'm gonna start to do is I'm going to just kind of take a look at our little fish here. And I'm just gonna start to outline his eyes. Like that. And I'm going to outline his mouth as well. And I'm using my triangle top Kemper. Let's see, can you see that? Kemper triangle top mini ribbon tool. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and make some lines in his fins. Like that. 
and then I'm going to make lines in this top bin. And I'm going to turn him over and make some lines on the other side of the bin, just in case somebody peeks back there one day. Okay, and then this is going to be a quick carve. I'm going to put some, um, some scales on him. So I'm going to start at the top and I'm just going to make a scale shape, kind of like a teardrop or a leaf shape. And I know his scales would be a lot smaller, um, but I'm going to make them big because I like people to be able to see them. And also because it's faster and I don't particularly want to spend all day carving scales. So I'm going to do it really fast. It's always nice to have a really soft bristled brush that you can use to wipe off the trimmings. And we just keep going with the scales. All the way down. Don't mind if you're going down your fish and you're seeing some brushwork between the yellow and orange or the orange and red. That's okay. It'll probably not be there once you're fired. But, you know, it's kind of nice for people to see an artist's hand and the work. So I never wor really worry about that kind of thing. Um, you can blend more with your brush when you're applying the slips if you're really concerned about it. Um, and you could take the time there to really blend those slips together. But when I make these fish, I, I like them to be fast and fun. And I think when you start fussing too much, then it becomes just more work than fun. And so I do everything with the fish very quickly. Okay, so now we're done with the scales. Here we go. And so now I'm gonna take my round top. Let's see, there we go. And I'm just gonna pull out little tiny pieces of slip. So he's polka dotted. And this goes really fast as well. And I just let my hand randomly go. And so it looks organic instead of, um, if I'm trying to get five little dots in each scale or I'm being really particular. I don't do that. I just kind of let my hand go really fast and that way it, get, it looks very organic and that's the, what I like. And then I'm going to just brush all of these little pieces of slip away so I can take a look at my fish and see where I need to kind of patch things up, maybe add a little extra slip, that kind of thing. And I think he looks pretty good. He's a very happy little fish. Okay, while I was doing that, I noticed that I missed a little red slip there, so I'm going to work on just cleaning this up a little bit on both sides here and on the outside like that and that looks pretty good and I also noticed that on this little area right there there's a little white spot so I'm gonna grab the orange it's over here and I'm gonna add a little bit more orange right there getting that nice and even Okay, and then it's time 
for our last little bit of our fish. We're gonna take him and we're gonna paint his eye turquoise blue, like this. I'm just applying the slip in here. And he'll have a nice bright turquoise eye, which will be really festive. Then I'm gonna take the red and I'm gonna paint his lips red. And this is gonna be really cute too. You may have to go a couple coats on the lips because I did get a quite a bit of yellow on his lips um, beforehand. So we may have to go a couple extra coats there. And I'm gonna do one extra coat of blue just to make sure that it's nice and solid like that and then I'm gonna slip over here and grab my black slip so that he can have a black pupil so we're just gonna do a little bit of black right in the middle let's see I need a little bit more There. And there's our little fish. I think he's adorable. He'll look so good on my wall. And um, I hope y'all have a wonderful week. I would love to see some of these fishes if you get some made. Okay, y'all take care.